Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. So this is going to be a uh, survival sandbox series. And I did promise you guys that I was going to bring you The Long Dark when the next major update dropped. Well, it dropped. They've added moose and done a few other little things. And one of the things they've done is they can, they, you can make your own custom mode in survival now. So we're going to try that out. And we're going to go down here to custom. See what we can do. So these are all the different variables that could be applied to the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it interloper difficulty. So I'll, let, I'll go through this here, just kind of scroll down slowly for you so you can see what it is. And there's only one thing that I'm going to, no, two things I actually I'm going to change. Um, and that is, let me go through all these first here, then I'll go back and change what I want to change. Okay, so there we go. Things I'm going to change is rifle availability because there have been there's moose now in the game and I do want to hunt a moose and I don't really think that hunting a moose with a bow and arrow is advisable. So as bad as I am with the bow and arrow and hunting wolves, I don't want to or not wolves but uh, bear with it. I'm not going to try to take on a moose with a bow and arrow. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make rifles available and there was something here about the. Uh, coldness variability here uh, weather variability Where's that probably up here a little bit starting weather nope that's not it Where's, oh here it is world gets colder over time so we're going to take that from high and just make that medium I thought that was a little overdone where it got pretty cold pretty quick so let me see here if I can get you guys the code there's my code if you guys want to play with the exact same conditions I have obviously I didn't do a whole lot of changing but uh, there you go if you want to try out that little system um, so that's my code, and we shall go ahead and confirm. And we are just going to do a random region. I don't know which region it's going to be. So here's what we got available to us. Mountain Town, that's the new one that we can now play, which is Milton. And then random. So we're just going to start random. I don't know where we're going to begin. And we'll just start with Will McKenzie. Why not? And there we go, the moose hunt. There we go. All right, so let's get into this. I was planning on taking a few months off here just to spend a little more time with the family over the holidays and things like that, but dang it, Hinterland, if they didn't just decide to drop a pretty major update right in the middle of all that. So I was having a paradox, you know, what I was planning on doing versus what I had promised I was going to do, and that was bring you guys next. Oh, we're in Mountain Town. So we are, okay. We are at the very start of the game, actually. So we got a, a little ways to go here. It might be a little difficult, actually. Okay. Um, and forgive me if I am a little... Let me change my mouse settings there. There we go. That, I think that feels a little bit better. We're going to grab about everything we can here. So, uh, Mountain Town, I guess, has some good resources, but we got to get there. Could end up being useful. That's the big thing, is we need to be able to get there first. We'll take that jerry can for sure. Uh, definitely don't want to leave anything behind that might be of use. Now, can we get out of here straight away? It looks like we can, because the uh, tree has been knocked over. So, we don't have to spend day after day here trying to nurse a wound or anything like that. Well, I'm going to take these rose hips. And uh, let me see what the temp is here. Uh, where's that at? Hold on one second. Let me grab these other rose hips. Sounds like I'm already getting cold. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, it feels like negative three. And let's take a quick look at our inventory anyway while we're here. Oh, nice. Some loafers. Wonderful. What do we got here? Nothing much, really. Yeah. Okay. We need to get going. We need to get to Milton, get inside a house as quick as possible. I did get this one, I think. Yes, I did. Briefcase. Grab these rose hips. Just in case we don't find any antibiotics and we sprain an ankle, which is quite possible. Or not antibiotics, painkillers, right? Painkillers. Let's go in here and see what we can find here. Burned out campfire, cedar wood, some bones, nothing much. This field of view seems a little off. Let me, let me adjust this here real quick. Uh, FOV is 100. Oh, I guess that is as high as it goes. I guess I'm used to playing Battlegrounds, so it's like you got, got extra three degrees or something to deal with. Okay. 
And we're gonna have some stuff up here that we can get. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Should be. A, oh, I guess there is no backpack or whatever. Okay, there's a branch cedarwood. I hear the wolves barking already. Well, at least I'm not injured, so I should be able to climb this. Let's climb this. I don't think I have any, uh, I don't even have any matches or anything at this point. I didn't notice any. Let me double check. Um, yeah, I got no matches. So I can't even go back there and make an actual fire in the cave. So we need to move quick. Wonder how fast we can do this. I'll probably end up with hypothermia otherwise. <sighs> I'm getting exhausted by doing all this climbing too. Okay, we're at the top there. We're at the tippy top of the mountain and we're only halfway up. Okay. Grab some more sticks. Eight minutes, of, eight minutes of burn time right there every time I pick up a stick. Newspaper, some kindling there. Some cloth, that's good. Some metal, okay, we'll take that. Okay. I wonder if this is any good to eat. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't have time to look right now. I don't have time to examine the expiration date on that package. Now do I? There's a stem. Okay. Uh, can I get into that plane? I don't think so. I don't think I can get up in there. We've got frostbite risk coming on. Man, we need to uh, get ourselves a fire going. So basically I'm going to be... Gosh, son of a bitch. We're going to be running from this wolf now. He just leaves me alone. There should be some rabbits here. He's probably gonna he's probably gonna get distracted by the rabbits. Okay, it looks like he's backed off. That's good. A couple stones. Just grab those. Cattail stocks. Okay, we need to move. Comes a wolf. I think we're gonna be alright with the rabbits. The rabbits are gonna. There he goes. He's going after that rabbit. Alright, he got distracted. Wonderful. Come on, give me that. Stop moving so much. All right, there we go. I know I hate I hate actually having to stop here and get these cattail stocks, but if I had matches, you know, I'd be much better shape because I just start a fire and go from there. But uh, here we are. I'm gonna grab these just in case I need to make a dressing or something. I got a cloth. If I get injured, I might need a dressing. I don't have an actual bandage or antiseptic yet. I I'm guessing once I get to Milton, it should be better because there is quite a bit of <sighs> loot to be had there. But I do need to get to Milton quick. And I'm passing a lot of good meat here on the way as well. But how much I can do? How much I can do? Oops, there we go. Alright, let's let our stamina recover here a little bit. So next time we have to run our run for our lives from the wolf, we'll be alright. Maybe we'll get some uh, matches in here in this cave. Maybe the temperature will warm up a little bit. I can get a little fire going, take the chill off, get rid of the chill. I don't even have a uh, bedroll either, so I can't I can't sleep or anything at this point. I think I only need three of these if, if the uh, numbers are still the same after the update. Okay, so we're inside a cave. This should be above freezing. Let's take a quick look here. That's 27. Okay, so we can't even start a fire here. Um, and we're still slowly freezing. Um, luckily, we can see inside the cave, which is not normally how it works. I didn't, just want to make sure I didn't drop those. It's temp here. Is it still the same? 
Oh, it feels like 31. So we're really close to not being not freezing anymore, but not quite there yet. I don't think I grabbed any extra clothes. Let me double check and make sure that I am wearing everything, in fact. Um, double check here. Let's go to clothing. Make sure it's all check marked at the top. There it is. All right. Sorry, I keep hitting C, thinking that's crouch, but uh, it's not. Okay, I think there's a backpack or something over here. Yeah, I thought I saw something green. Come on, give me a piece of clothing. One piece of clothing. Oh, that would have taken me over a piece of coal. That's always good. Um, if I would have got one more piece of clothing, I would have uh, been able to uh, put it on and get above freezing at least. I could have suspended the frostbite risk. Okay. Oh man, I really don't want to have to go outside again. I'd rather be able to start a fire, but I haven't found any matches yet. And what do we got here? We have a wolf here? Ooh. There's a hide here. Oh man, I'd really like to get it, but I don't have any real way to get it. And I can't spend the time to do it. I can't be bothered. But at least we know where there is one extra hide and, and two, a couple extra deer hides and things like that on our way back. Now, I gotta be pretty quick here. I've only come through this way about twice, I think, during the story mode. Once, the first time I played it, the second time was when I had to replay it because of a save game glitch to get to episode two. So, I've only come through here twice and I'm not as familiar with it as I normally am with these areas. So, there normally is a wolf eating a deer there, I think. I have to kind of run past it. Not this time. It's going to be somewhere else, ready to uh, pounce, I'm sure. So, let's get down here. There should be some cars. We'll see what the temperature is in these cars. I don't really want to rest, either. Because the while the weather... Oh, son of a... That's a big bear. Okay, I can't, I can't outrun him any which way. I need to figure out a different way around. Oh, man, I never had to deal with the bear before. I don't think I can... Can I detour? Let me see if I can detour. I'm running into all kinds of problems. Thus is how interloper typically goes. You just run for your life the entire time until you die. All right, let's see if I can, can I make this work? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Come on, let me up this way, there we go. <clears throat> At least a bear's not gonna be able to get to me up here, I don't think, unless he's doing work on the balance. Okay, I don't think I can make it down this way and I'll probably end up breaking my leg. I think I'm, I've ledged myself up here. I have. I don't think I can go back this way either. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so I'm just wasting time here. Time that I can't afford to waste. Wait, wait. Can I go up this way? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can make this happen. Okay. We might have found a way out. It won't let me go any. It won't let me go that anywhere that way. So there's like an invisible wall right here. Great. So they put a bear in my path, and then the one route that I can get around on, they won't let me take. Oh, they're gonna make. They're making me like. I'm literally pushing against that invisible wall there. Okay. So now I can. I'm gonna cut back. Now the bear's walking the way that I plan on it, hopping down. Frostbite risk. I thought I already had frostbite risk. Try to get as low as possible. Now let's see if we can just do this mountaineering thing here. Holy crap, that looks like a long way down. Let me back up. Let me back up. Okay. Get away from there, man. I want him to be over there. Can't waste time like this. This is hurting. This is hurting bad. 58% risk. I got two frostbite areas. My head and my hands. Oh my god. Okay. I need to get into one of these cars. So I'm going to let that bear pass. I'm going to hop in one of these cars and rest. Hopefully I can get it above freezing in there. By doing calisthenics or something. I have no idea. So apparently I should just went back down and waited for the bear. Okay. Oh, 
there's one car back here that we could check out while we're waiting for him to move along. See if maybe we can find an article of clothing or something. Okay, let's check. Uh, those matches, I think those are matches. Yes, they are matches. Wonderful. These never have anything. Gosh. Okay. Alright, let's check the temperature inside this car. Dang it, 27 degrees. Not good enough. Not good enough. Is this the hiking trail? This is the hiking trail. I'm going to try to search these cars while the bear's up ahead. Real quick. So the idea is... Where's he at? He's up there somewhere. He didn't just fall off the face of the earth, did he? Nope. I see him in front of the truck. Okay, he's turning around. Let's hurry up and search. Oh, can't open that. Okay, search the glove box. Not going to bother with the visors this time. Have to do that. It's required. I think he's pinged me. Not gonna bother with the back seat. Gotta go. Okay, well we tried. I skipped some loop spots there, but I kinda had to. Gotta get to Milton quick. I need to get I need to get to a house fast. I need to find somewhere where I can warm up. I'm almost con uh, ready to start a fire and use that piece of coal to warm things up a bit. Oh, where's the bear at? Is he over here? I basically did a big circle for no reason. That's wonderful. I could go back to the cave and warm up. Now that's my other option. But what time of the day is it? Yeah, it's uh, almost night time. We do not want to be caught out at night, for sure. So I think we push through. There's a wolf up here, looks like. So I'm going to probably have to outrun it, so I'll need to let my stamina build here a little bit. It's a temp here now, negative one. I wonder if it's getting warmer or colder. It's probably getting colder. 27 degrees still. Beef jerky, nice. Always good, always good. Let's get out of here. Check out this. I'd, I'd kill for there. I don't. You know what? I think it's only improvised weapons in this one too. I don't remember seeing that as an option, but uh, I do believe that's what the way it is in Interloper. So there's no knives or hatchets. Okay. I saw the wolf up here. Where was he? Now wait, I think there's a trailer up here. There is, isn't there? Now should I go this way? I think I want to cut this way. Away from the way that wolf was heading. Because he was up and over those hills back there. He might pop out at me. First deer we've seen, I think, right? First upright deer walking along. moving. Yeah, there's a trailer up here somewhere. I just need to find it just before Milton. Oh, there's a cave. Ooh, I'm tempted. I think the trailer's up here. We're gonna go for the trailer.
I do want to stop and search things, but I don't want to waste time. At the, you know, at the same time, I don't want to waste the time. My health is really hurting too, down to 46% condition. Did I miss my trailer? Um, no, right there it is. There it is. Okay. Come on, let me just let me get there. Just let me get there. Just let me get there. I don't have any water either, so I'm gonna need to uh, get out here, cook up some water as well. Unless I can find some bottled water in here, which would be so lovely. Ah, oh, hypothermia. Dang it! I was so close. Oh. Okay, we gotta stay above freezing for ten hours at this point. Okay. There's a hammer. We need that for sure. It's very, very useful. Okay, nothing there. Wait, there's no beds here. Uh, why can't I not use that? I can. Okay, good. I was gonna say I would make. I would definitely in real life. I'd be making use of that. Let's see what we got here. Give me some water. Nothing. All right, I got a burn barrel outside. I can use. Uh, I do want to warm up though, but maybe I can get that burn barrel up to temperature with the uh, coal that I picked up. So we're gonna have to let it cook. Or we're gonna have to let the fire go for half an hour, and then we can put the coal on, and it should the the, the temperature should skyrocket. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus we got a little bit of wood here. Let's do a quick check around here. There should be some wood we can break up, actually. Some pallets or something, I think. Maybe not. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. We'll make do. Alright. Wood matches bark. Uh, yeah, let's just start with a stick. Take the charcoal. And let's start a fire. Well, we've already got hypothermia in episode number one. Now, I wonder if the burn barrel outside will burn out because of wind. I don't think it will. I think it's, like, protected enough from the wind that it won't affect the uh, burn time or burn it out completely. So hopefully we get lucky here. Never really use burn barrels outside that much at all. Typically, I'm not in such dire dire need to uh, get a fire going. It worked. All right, so let's go ahead and use some of these sticks. go and then once it burns for half an hour we'll be able to get a little bit of something something out of it and what's our temp here now so it's up to 24 degrees we're still freezing to death unfortunately let's throw the cedar on I think that'll increase the yeah that should be enough to get us above freezing oh yeah we're definitely above freezing now it's 39 deg uh, degrees Fahrenheit we're feeling much better now we can stand here and uh, cook up some water which we definitely need so let's go ahead and do about a gallon of water. And then that'll put us into the... There's our temperature starting to go up here. Wonderful. Let's cook this up here. Boil it up. We're starting to get real thirsty, real hungry. We're very tired. Okay. So what else can we do? Can we cook anything? We don't have anything worth cooking. Um... I could prepare a little bit of, uh, do a little bit of, do a little bit of crafting here. I do some rose hips, prep up some rose hips and some mushrooms, so we have some medicine at least. Here we go, and maybe some mushrooms. That'll be another 15 minutes. I think we're okay with with the burn time here. There we go. It's starting to dwindle now, just a little bit, but that's okay. And then what we'll do is we'll throw on a few more pieces, a few, few more sticks here. And we'll go ahead and cook ourselves up some uh, tea. Different teas here. One for antibiotic purposes, one for pain medicine. Rosehip is the pain medicine tea and the reshi mushrooms is for antibiotic use. For food poisoning, etc. We'll check our, uh, let me get a drink here lest I get sidetracked and forget. Oh, you know what? I like, I forget you can do it from there. Okay, so we didn't use up too much of our gallon. We've only used up about point, uh, 13 gallons. So we got we're our fill of water. And let's go ahead and eat something. What do you guys want to eat? These don't go bad, so I'm going to save those. Um, everything looks like, ooh. Let's try the moldy chocolate bar. Hopefully we don't get food poisoned. 
get that out of the way. Okay, I think we got lucky. Since we were going to go to bed anyway, I wasn't too worried about it. And a tin of sardines. We'll eat that. And that takes us up to how many calories? 966. Oh yeah, we're in good shape. So we can rest comfortably throughout the night. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we're at here. 51 degrees it feels like out here. Nice. And we're down to 23% health. So how much more time we got on this? 20 minutes? I don't think we have enough time to melt any more water. Um, what's our weight at? Carry weight here. Uh, 37 pounds. Not bad. Uh, we can carry 66 pounds. Let's do you believe. I'll go ahead and put that uh, piece of charcoal away also. Okay, it's pretty dark in here. Wow. What's the temp in here now? 31. But once I get into bed, I should get a little bit of a bonus, even though there are no covers on the bed. 5.4. Okay, so as long as it doesn't get too cold outside, we're going to be all right. But we got to take the risk. And we got to make sure that we get a full night's sleep. So let's go ahead and sleep for uh, uh, 10 hours. And that'll keep us within our calorie store. And we should get, as long as the temperature doesn't drop significantly, we should be okay. If not, we're going to die. We're going to freeze to death if, uh, if anything like that happens. Did we make it? Looks like it. All right, so we survived. That's that's not a bad thing, being able to survive. So we're up to 58% health. We're dehydrated again. Let's go and get another drink while we're here. I need a horse. There's more than one way to skin a cat when it comes to eating and drinking and things like that. So, um, And I'm just going to let myself, uh, you know, do the uh, calorie or condition yo-yo. Um, but uh, I need to get to Milton first, get some more food, that sort of thing. But uh, let's see what it's like outside. Hopefully it's not a blizzard. So the blizzard were kind of screwed. Let's make it to Milton. Okay. Negative 33 degrees. Oh my god, it's cold. Alright, we need to move quick. So we should be able to go just straight down the uh, hill here. I'm going to bypass the church. I'm not going to stop there. Um, I just want to get to Milton. I can always come back for the church. That's my thinking. Where's that wolf? Oh yeah, two of them. Wonderful. Sounds like he's right on my butt too. We're gonna go down these little hills. Whoa! Oh shoot, that's not good. Oh, I didn't mean to jump right off a freaking cliff, but hey, I didn't quite move far enough to the right. I zigged when I should have zagged. Alright, so now we can't fight anything. We can't hold a weapon, which is a moot point because we can't hold a weapon anyway, but I think if we get attacked by a wolf, we're pretty much screwed. We can't run. Did I hear a thump? I thought I heard a thump. Okay, I think we're okay. That's our poor temp at. Oh yeah, that's right. Alright, we're okay. We're gonna make it. <laughs> we got hypothermia, we got sprained wrist, we got a uh, sprained ankle, and then something else. I, I don't even know what it was. A bruise or something. Okay, let's just get to Milton. Let's get inside the uh, old mama Juju's uh, mansion here up on the hill. And uh, recuperate best we can. And hopefully we don't have a wolf just laying in wait for us. I hope. I can't run. Oh, I guess I can't. I can run a little bit. Wow, I can run a lot better than I thought I could. Did I just sprain two wrists? Is that what it was? I thought it said ankle. Maybe it was just two wrists, which is fine. Don't have any weapons to use anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's get inside, get warmed up, recover. It's the name of the game. All right, guys. Well, we are coming up here on the 30-minute uh, mark. So, hey! We've got a rifle. Sword. Life feels so much better. All right, good choice to come here, right? Yeah. What we got here? Metal pot. Okay. I don't want to. Nothing yet. I can't wait till the aurora comes, and I can listen to the radio. All right. So let's do a quick little inventory of the house, and uh, we'll call that a end to the episode. Know, some more matches always good. A wilderness kitchen. I'll be reading that on those blizzardy nights. Now, the one thing I liked about story mode was you could always come here and there was a guaranteed fire because uh, Pet Mama Juju always, always kept the fire 
home fires going, right? Okay. Hey, and these are all things that would have been considered this this whole searching here would have been considered a stealing. Back in story mode. This is the first time I've ever actually searched this house before. Okay. Well, nothing there worthwhile, really. Um, got a nice stove to cook on, that's for sure. Is that a scarf? No, it's just cloth, right? No, I just want to take the cloth. Okay, apparently I can't just take it. Apparently it's too big. It's like a curtain or something is what it's kind of considered. Okay, let's search this cabinet. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Please be like a big, heavy winter jacket. No, of course not. All right. What do you got? Anything? Nothing. All right. Upstairs we go. Pretty hungry. Uh, I do know where there's a cattail field. A couple fields of cattails, so that's good at least. That should be a nice 10 degree. Oh, it's a 14 degree bed. Okay. I was mistaken. So what's the temps in here? 37 degrees. All right, so we're above freezing anyway. So just, oh, jeans. We'll, we'll layer them on, man. I know they're not worth much, but we'll layer them on. So I got a wrist sprain. This to all recover from. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to use this. We're going to use sleep instead to recover the wrist. And, um, yeah, we're starting to already get tired again. So. All right. Running from, from wolves will do that to you, right? I already did that one. Get back here. All right, let's, let's, uh, throw on that. Let's close the jeans. Yeah, let's throw those on. Not worth much. Oh, wow, these are almost gone. It must have been from all that jumping around and crap that I was doing. What? Man, who's not wearing a winter, a winter coat out in this weather, winter honestly? Feel so, tired. so we got some water there, which is always good. Uh, okay, what else? Sewing kit, yes, we need that. We got cloth, we got sewing kit. We got lots of cloth laying around here. And there's a house around here with some more cloth, so... Um, good, so we can repair some of our clothing as well while it's light. I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. And apparently I'm encumbered now. Probably from the sprained wrist. Let me check here. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting sapped. I'm just getting knackered from all the afflictions that I'm suffering. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, that was the best chest ever. Okay. So let's get this started here. We want to put on... Uh, let's see, that's got waterproof 30, it's 5. We're going to put that on first then. I don't think it, actually, I don't think it matters here. Um, the order, like the, here, I'll put that on. And then, and maybe, maybe it just depends on wh what, it doesn't matter which slot you use, it matters which one you put on first. So that, like that. Now, if I take this off, what I'm saying is, if I take this off and I put this on here first. Oh, I dropped it. Hold on. Why'd I drop it? There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm saying is, you know, if I put, Oh, it won't let me put that on the outer. Okay, so that's considered. I got you. I guess it does matter. Wait, wrong one. Take it off. Put that one on first, then put on this one. Much better. Oh, a thin wolf sweater. Man, we're doing good with clothing now. We're getting lucky. This is the best room that we found so far. I think this is a 10 degree bed. Let's check. 9 degree. Okay, close. I round up to be correct. Okay, so we got everything? Yep. Should give us a bunch of cloth here too. Like three cloth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. We're starving. Uh, that's okay, we got enough uh, cattail stalks to eat to uh, get us through the night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and repair some of my clothing here. Let's do that. Should be able to just do it from this menu. Yes, we need to definitely repair these first before we lose them. Do it. Get it done. Okay, I failed. Try again. Why am I failing so much? 70% chance? Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, finally. Jeez, that was crazy. Now they're up to 36. Um... Let's take a look at other stuff that we have. If there's anything else in worse need. I'll go ahead and repair these next and then the simple parka. We definitely don't want that parka to go bad. 
So let's repair this one. My conditions get pretty low, as you can see. So what I probably need to do is just rest. Let's do that. Conditions down to 15. I'm about to start seeing double vision here. So let's eat and drink. And then get some rest and get our condition back up. I do really need to take it easy, honestly. So, it's gonna eat. Um, tomato soup, yeah, if we do beef jerky and tomato soup, we should be in pretty good shape. So let's do that. We're not gonna get the full amount for the tomato soup because we're gonna have to smash it open, but we should get some partial calories out of it. I'm guessing probably about 280, something around there. So yeah, 25% we're lost. Okay, so how many did we get? 223, not nearly as much as I thought, okay. Luckily, we don't have to smash open a can uh, the bag of beef jerky. So where are we at now? 570. We, we need to eat the last one. We need to get over 750, I think. I think it is. Maybe it's 700. I can't remember. Just sleep 10. Yeah. Yep, 750. Okay, we should be good. And then we should be well rested and uh, our condition should be significantly higher. So let's do that. Nice. Frostbite gone. Sprain risk gone. Frostbite risk healed. Now we need to get rid of that hypothermia. How many more hours we got on that? Remain above freeze. Oh, it's 24 hours. I forgot. You gotta stay above freezing for 24 hours. I thought it was 12 hours or 10 hours or something. I think 10 hours is I need food poisoning. Food. So we just can't let our temperature drop below that again. Otherwise it resets the clock. And it makes it difficult to uh, get your condition up. So let's try to, yeah, we're up to 35%, which isn't great, but it's not bad. So what we'll do here is, um, we're pretty well rested, I think, right? Okay. Man, um, I don't think we can do any sewing here in the dark. I don't think. Maybe I can break down some of this for, uh, I need a hatchet for that, don't I? Yeah, I do. All right, what I'll do is I'll tear down some of these curtains, get some cloth. Be prepared for uh, the morning so I can really get our clothes back up to par. Okay, there's one curtain there. I think the other one was missing. Okay, yeah, it is. Take a peek outside, see how bad it is. Might jump over a house. Just see if we can find anything. Go over to the store. 14 degrees. Not too hateful, actually. It's the warmest it's been. Let's check in here. Sometimes there's rifle rounds in here. Always good to check the mailboxes. I'm not seeing anything. Right, let's just run straight over here. Gotta eat soon. There we go. Let's see if I can. Gosh, I can't see crap in here. Okay, this isn't helpful at all. All right, let's just head on back. We're just gonna have to suffer through the night here. Alright, luckily we can see a little bit inside this house. So we're not tripping over everything. Well, at least I'm getting nice and tired. One from the hypothermia and two from a. Uh... I think I need to lay down. From doing this work here, breaking these items down. So we're going to lay down again for another 10 hours. We're going to eat the cattail stocks, drink, and then lay down. And we should be past the hypothermic stage at that point. I think we only nine hours and we're going to try to sleep for 10. So we should be good, at least health wise. Okay. The only problem is when you have hypothermia, your condition recovers very slowly compared to the way it normally would. There's one, two, so that's 300 calories. That's, that's exactly why I wanted to stop and grab them. Right here. Cause you never know what, if you're gonna get lucky or not with your loot spawns when it comes to uh, getting some food. Okay, I think we're good there. Hopefully we are. 744, about perfect actually. So let's go ahead and sleep for 10. There we go, we're really close. And uh, let's go ahead and sleep, we should be good. All right, well, 
we went and now I'm coming up on 40 minutes. I was going to stop at 30 minutes, but I'm going to stop at 40 minutes here. So there we go. Hypothermia risk healed and we are ready to start exploring Milton. So it sounds like a blizzard, but at least we're in Milton and it's not that hard to go from house to house. So we should be all right. Bouncing from house to house. Let's go ahead and get a drink. Can I find something to eat? Lest I forget. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the new series. It's good to talk to you guys again on the channel. It's been a little a little quiet lately, but uh, yeah, I was just taking a little bit of time, enjoying the family, and uh, taking a little bit of a break. But uh, let's take a peek outside so we can save the game and see what the weather is like. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. So let's get back inside here. There we go. It is saved, and we are at 41 degrees inside. Um, we could go ahead and do a lot of uh, repairs on our clothing, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a little bit of exploring while I have a chance here. Um, so yeah, things aren't too hateful. I do want to get that Parker repaired first though. I think I'll do that for sure. And uh, maybe these jeans. And then from there, we're gonna do, do some exploring because we might end up replacing these jeans pretty quick and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing that, especially if I'm just going house to house. So it's all about managing the resources. That's a big part of what, you know, modified interloper is here um, we have the rifle now and we decreased the uh, rapidity at which uh, the game world will get cold but other than that we're pretty much playing interloper and again the only reason why I wanted that rifle was was because uh, of the moose so I do want to do some moose hunting eventually so like comment subscribe I'll see you guys in the next episode so make sure you hit that notification bell icon if you do subscribe so you get notified whenever I post new videos talk to you soon